what about global debt? Not just in the US, but globally. We've got debt at record highs. What happens, Tim, if there is another global shock? For example, I'm just throwing it out there, maybe there's a strain of the virus that mutates to the point where the current vaccinations don't have any impact. Or maybe there's a massive deflation of, of, of what we've been seeing in the stock market. There could be another round the corner kind of shock that I haven't even thought of. But what happens? Do fiscal and monetary policy makers still have any ammo left in the bank? A great question, Mandy. Not much ammo left. We are running up deficits and debts globally and running them up at historic levels. Our global debt monitor, our next edition will be out in just a couple of weeks. We're at record levels in terms of debt to GDP and the advanced economies, emerging markets, corporates, uh, uh, sub-nationals. Uh, uh, you know, we can keep this up for some time and we have to in order to restore growth. But over the medium and the long term, we need a solution to deal with those debt levels. And it's not quite clear what that solution looks like. Do you have any idea on what do you think there could be in terms of a shock for the global economy over the course of the year? Well, I think the, the, the uh, situation that you just noted, which is we could have mutations of the virus. If we don't uh, get to herd immunity pretty quickly and we continue to see the virus spread and replicate and then mutate, yes, we may uh, not be able to get vaccinations out quickly enough to deal with that mutation. That's a real concern. And we're here in the U.S. where our rollout has just been incredibly unorganized and slow. But I think we are seeing it better organized. And I think by mid-year, we'll see a much better outcome. What would that mean for the business environment in general, uh, given the economic forecast that would be adjusting uh, to the virus progression this year? In terms of, like I said, uh, businesses handling the debt situation and the risk of debt defaults. Well, there's a lot of buoyancy in the markets. You see how the markets are pricing in all financial assets. There's a real high expectation of economic recovery throughout the year and certainly in the second half of the year. And an expectation that we will see vaccinations widely distributed and, and, and with a high take up rate. So, I think people are, have grown tired of sitting at home and they want to get out and they want to spend money and they want to you know, travel and, and go to restaurants and the markets are pricing that in. If that doesn't happen, then I think we'll see a pullback in the second half of the year.